up, guys? guys? Baker, Baker Boys, Boys Outdoors. Outdoors. And today, we're going to be doing some creek fishing. Now, we had a little spillway on our farm, and we're going to try and catch some fish here just with bobber and worm. And then, if this doesn't work out, we're just going to go to another spot. We have multiple spots to go to today. This might turn into a catch and cook. We don't know. But the point is, is we're going to do some creek fishing. Because we've been fishing here for a solid 15 minutes. No bites on jig heads or worms. So we're going to move spots. We are at a different pond right now. We're going to keep working that way if we don't catch any fish in here. Because it goes into a backwaters. So we'll let you know if we're catching anything. But everyone, we're standing, or I'm standing, on a dam. They're fishing behind me. We saw a beaver so far, but no fish. So we might have to end up moving from this spot. The bad thing about this spot is that it just recently flooded, so the water is really murky, and I'm pretty sure the fish are, I don't know what's wrong with the fish, but we can keep trying. All right guys, so I just snapped off on a pike. I was using a little twister tail uh, grub that I made, black and white minnow with a chartreuse jig head. So the boys are getting over here now and we're gonna tie up some spinners, like small inline spinners and try and catch some northern pike. So, uh, if either one of us gets on, I will try my best to get it on film. You guys, so we've moved down from the dam, and I had that pike on. I have a fish. Jared has a fish. No, he got off. Okay. He had a fish. <laughs> but, um, I, I cast right underneath that tree with the, I've got, hold on. I've got a little spinner on, or a pretty decent sized spinner, and... I don't know what kind of fish it was, but it blew up on me. I got a fish. Fish on. Fish on. Giant fish on, pike. Fish giant on. pike. No! That was a giant pike. Did you see how big that was? Fi fix your bait. He just had like a 30. That was huge. He had a 30 inch pike on. Dang it. Um, They're not hitting hard today though for some reason. Yeah. I think we might have to switch to treble hooks just to, just to get it in their mouth. Cause they, they, we've gotten quite a few bites actually, three or four good bites, but we just can't seem to get it in their mouth and have them just take it. Yeah, the jig head bite I had was solid. The only thing that bit me in the butt was I didn't have a leader on and it snapped my line. So we're going to get some, some different stuff on. Guys, we're in the truck right now, so we're going to go to some ponds that me and Jared are pretty familiar fishing at. It's the pond that we did the topwater frog video on. And we're gonna try and catch some bluegills. We did have more pike on back where we were, but uh, they, they just came off. So the bite turned off there. I think we kinda spooked them off. So we're gonna move to the next spot. So we got to the ponds, and we've been here for a little bit. We're just catching some medium-sized bluegill. We're, we're keeping these in the bucket just in case today doesn't go planned and we don't get any bigger ones. So we plan on having a fish fry later, though. Yep, this is a catch-and-cook video. So we're going to probably move to a better pond here we're just kind of these ones aren't really the ideal size that we're really looking for yep but we're just at least catching them before we weren't really catching anything besides we got a few bites on pike or from pike but now we're actually starting to get a little bit of action at a new place so we are moving spots right now the bluegill from that pond are just too small they're probably only one year olds can't really tell but they're the size of a one year old bluegill hopefully we're gonna go to this other pond normally they got a lot bigger bluegill and maybe we'll be able to catch a few of them to cook up tonight oh well, we'll get back to you once we're at the pond jared just got a bluegill 
So I know I'm probably gonna catch hate because I'm using a bobber Here. and a worm, pretty much just the newbiest rig ever. But honestly, I think it works the best out of anything. And right now I'm just trying to get fish for the fish fry later. Jared just went in with the bobber. Immediate bites. Jared's in the water again. There's a good one. Who is the bass? Bass. Yeah, it's a, no, it's a bluegill. Jesus. Holy Jesus. slab. Fight hard. Here, hold up your fish. So here's my hand. That's pretty fish. good. Nice We're going to keep that one in the bucket in case in case we don't uh, catch any more. Yeah, that was decent. <laughs> we are probably going to throw these back once we catch a few more of these slabs. Four. Try and cast like right by the stick. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Hoping I get snagged now. Ooh, don't don't yank it yet. There you go. Fish on. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh oh. Can they see him? I don't know. Fish is stuck there. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna climb out there. I'll go in the water. <laughs> As far as I can. Oh, oh, oh. almost. He's <laughs> stuck on it. Good. <laughs> oh, we got it. Yes. Him. Beautiful. Little there we go. Video. Now let's just hope I don't slip in. Pumpkin. That's a fatty. These are fatties. This pond has really good genetics for bluegill. I mean, just look at that. That's just an average size, and it's the size of my hand. Oh. <laughs> That's gonna be it. <laughs> Alright guys, I just caught this bluegill on one of the garage made baits. It's the little um, minnow imitation on this jig head. So we're gonna throw this one in the bucket because it's past my wrist, as you can see. So. This one's an eater. All right, everyone. I just caught this. Eh, one and a half, maybe two pound. I'd say one and a half pound bass on this spinner bait with a um, paddle tail on the back. We could keep them, but since we have so many bluegill, I'm gonna throw this one back. So this is the bass I caught, just so you guys can see it better in perspective to my face, but. We're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. Me and Jared both have fishies on. We're catching them left and right out of this water, just using a worm. We're gonna keep trying to get some bigger ones than this, so we'll get back with you. <laughs> <laughs> so Jared's in the tree. He just caught a mondo. Oh, so that's a male, right? Uh, probably. I'm going to get this off and then show you how big it is. So that's the size of the bluegill that Jared just caught. It's a big one, so we're going to keep this one. Caden <laughs> just caught a grass carp over there. He's Oh, quick release. All right, we've got a full bucket of keeper bluegill. And Jared's fishing over there. Just getting the last Whoa! fish in. We're going to start heading out, and then we're going to start cooking these bluegies. We're going to start cooking these bluegills, guys. Aren't we? Yes. Aren't we? Yes! Ah! Everyone, we are moving out of the spot, and we're going to head back to the farm to cook up all the fish. Jared and Caden are back there. Jared's stuck in a tree, but we'll get out of here. Jared's still stuck in the tree, guys, so I think I'm just going to leave him, leave him there uh, and cook the fish. That'll be more for me and Caden, so we're just going to leave him there. Caden's on his way, but Jared's just chilling out in the tree. So next time you see us, we'll probably be at uh, the farm cooking up the fishies. All right, everyone, so... We are at the farm. We've got the wood 
Caden's chopping right now. We got pan. We got the fish in the cooler with ice. Um, we've got spices and basically everything we need. So we're gonna walk back there with all the stuff and then we're gonna cook what we caught today. Okay, so right now I'm working on the fire. Caden's cutting the firewood and then Nathan's working on skinning the, the um, bluegill. <laughs> and so like basically all I'm doing right now is to just get this kindling right there. I'm just rubbing my knife all along this to try to get those little pieces because those are really flammable. So this is the first match. Probably going to need another one. All right, so we thought that it didn't catch on fire, but apparently it's going. So we're just gonna wait for it to actually catch on fire. This is our wood pile. Yeah, put some wood in the fire. And we got this thing that we can put our pan on. It's the best we got. Actually, you're gonna flip it the other way. That's, that's looking pretty good. They're skinning the rest of the fish over there and we're gonna get them in the pan as soon as they're done. All right, so Jared has got the butter in the pan what did you just add? Uh, pepper. We got pepper, salt, and what's the other thing? Dill. Dill. Supposedly, it tastes really good with fish. Yep. We got dill. And oh, and then the lemon juice, right there. Yep. We're gonna put that in with the fish. We got the fire's going good over here. I'm actually gonna add some wood to that soon. We got a little table here. It's kind of useless right now, but. It's fine. Caden went to go grab some, what was it, beans and water. The birds are going crazy. <laughs> I don't know why. If anyone knows what that is, let us know in the comments section below. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But, um, yeah, we're going to get this situated and we'll be with you. So, our ingredients are cooking. Jerry's going to slap that slab in there. That was the biggest one we caught. Now we're going to set these on here. It's getting hot. I'm going to move this towards the edge, actually. So they cook slower. But that's a good meal for all of us. We still got a ton left in the cooler over there. So once these are done, we'll show you how they turned out. Fire's cooking hot, and we got some hot looking fish, threw in some more butter. Caden may have got stuck <laughs> on the road down there. <laughs> yeah, there he is, he, he's running. <laughs> let's, let's see what the news oh is. Oh my god, my <laughs> <laughs> What? Where do you, what happened? Not stuck, but... Hey, watch the stuff. Okay. <laughs> Truck is not stuck, guys, but he is scared he will get it stuck. So, Jerry's gonna take care of that. I'm gonna take care of the fish. They're looking ready. Ooh, you hear that? Oh man. They smell good. I'm gonna get a look at this. Mmm. These look good. I'm going to take these out because they look ready. So, uh, somehow it's just me right now. Uh, just, just here, here with the fish. Don't know if they got stuck, but at least I'll have some fish. Those guys are gone. Let us know if you'd like to see this entire campground 
get brought back to life because this area right here is the same area that my grandpa, my uncles, and basically Baker family would hang out on weekends and do fish fries, all sorts of stuff. Just hanging out. Used to camp in that bus. I don't think the bus is restorable, but just this area. If you'd like to see us clean it up and get it in better functioning conditions, leave it down in the comments because that's something me and Jared kind of want to get going again. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but right there is the Wapsie River. So... It is possible we can do some camping challenge here, challenges here with catch cooks, with catfish, or bank pole fishing, whatever you guys think would be the coolest, because I would like to do some camping back here. It would be a fun time. So I'm going to wait for those guys to get back, because I'm not going to eat it all without them. So, when they're back, I'll let you know. So Jared is back. Caden's coming behind him, but they brought some beans, water. What else do you guys bring? Um, cups, and plates, and forks. Cups, plates, and forks. Caden got that. So, yeah, I was telling these guys while well, you guys weren't here that it would be cool if we fix this area back up again yeah comment comment down below if you want to see like that as a project i guess yeah all right we're gonna wait for Caden, then we can start diving into the fish all right so got these fish hooked up throwing them on the plate so we can get more on the fire and then we got some beans over there i'm not sure how we're gonna cook them but Caden's chopping more wood so yeah we've got time I'm gonna get more, more uh, butter and spices in here, and then we can go ahead with more fish. So I've got the beans here, I've got butter. Get some melting action on camera. That's looking good. And we still got these honey sweet baked beans to cook. So we are gonna try out this fish. Mm -hmm. We've all got a piece. Are we gonna do a countdown or what? Yeah, let's do a countdown. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one. That's not bad. It isn't actually. Just like fried mm -hmm. butter. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. good. We definitely mm -hmm. should have not let the scales on it now <laughs> yeah next time that's i like it nice and crunchy mm -hmm. buttery a little it's bit of spice a little, a little hint of lemon it's good it's good gotta make some beans beans, beans stew. clean that pan or that what is that that's a pan isn't it that's a, a pot we just clean that pot and the beans are in it now <laughs> he's flaying the fish we finished We finished that plate. That was full of fish already. So we're cooking up what we have left and then we're gonna serve it with the beans. Okay, right, we got two little chunkers in there. The beans are hot. We are about ready to eat. All right, so the little chunkers are about ready and the beans are, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Well, Jared's chopping down a tree, Jared's so. Chopping down a tree with a mall. Yeah. It's right there. Food's almost ready, so. Yep. It's kind of, it's kind of sagging. Timber. Timber. <laughs> well, we got firewood now. Jared has just became a. Good job. Guy. Let's go. All right, everybody, we just finished up the fish and some beans. Cooking sesh. 
Yeah. So that was uh, Catch and Cook today. We hope you guys like the video. If you do, leave a like and subscribe. Tell us some stuff you'd like to see on the channel in the comments below. Thank you for your view. Mm -hmm. See you the next time. Peace. Peace.